All right, guys. Apple Tech and Help here, and today I'm just going to be showing you the tools here on the left-hand side on Photoshop CS6. But first, you're obviously going to need Adobe Photoshop CS6, and I'll link you to my tutorial in the description below on how to get that for free. So I haven't made a video in like the past week. I made about one, and um, that was because I was quite busy throughout last week. But I've just left my job, so I have more time to make videos. So my new like schedule is going to be upload three a week. It won't be like a specific time, but if I'm going to put one up, there'll be a status on my Facebook page. So make sure you go like that to keep updated when new videos are up. So let's get straight into this. So first up here, we have the move tool. Now this is used basically just to move everything around on the layer or the um, new project you're starting. So that's just a tool that you will use a lot. Now the next one is the rectangular marquee tool. But if you actually hold on to the icon, you'll see that you've got the elliptical marquee tool, the single row marquee tool, and the single column marquee tool. Now basically, what that used for is so you can like select a bit of a picture, copy, and then you can paste it and stuff. And the next one is the lasso tool, and then there's the polygonal lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool. Now, the lasso tool is like for getting corners of pictures and stuff. So, um... Say you wanted to like get the outline of someone so you could make like a like a black and white drawing of them, you'd use that. And also there are just some different ones to use, like if there's like odd corners and stuff. And the next one is the quick selection tool, which if you have a picture, you can just like click and go around a picture and then you can take the background out. And that's just a really good technique. And then you've got the magic one tool which is basically the same but a lot harder to use. Now we've got crop here, which everyone uses. Now you know what that does, it's to crop photos and stuff like that. The, pers the perspective crop tool, which is where you can crop it to like how you want, however you want. You can do it from corners, sides, diagonal, that sort of stuff. The slice tool is to like slice bits of the picture. And then the slice select tool. And you can actually use that to make like banners for YouTube, because I've made one before with that. Now here is your eyedropper tool. That's just where you can pick a picture and then it will get it will find the color on Photoshop and you can use that. And then there's the ruler tool, which is obviously just a ruler and a note tool to put notes. I think it comes up along the bottom here. Now I don't want to keep that on there, I want it on the eyedrop tool. Now you've got this one which is a spot healing brush. Now this is really cool. Say you had a picture of someone and they had some like horrible spots. You just select that tool and click over the spot and it will actually get rid of it and what it does is it finds what's behind behind that spot and puts that there. Which is a really good tool for like people that are making photos for magazines and one of the actors has a spot and they don't want it on there, they just go straight into Photoshop and use Spot Healing Brush Tool. Uh, the one below is Healing Brush Tool which is basically the same but it will do it for everything, not just spots. Now the Patch Tool is just like it's basically the same, it's just covering bits up. And then you've got the content aware mill tool, which is just what all these use, but that one you can like pick what you want to put there. And then you've got the red eye tool, which is obviously if you've took a picture and the flash has gone in your eye and makes your eye go red, you can get rid of that. Now below it is the brush tool, which obviously you just pick a colour and you can paint a little. And then you've got the pencil tool and then the colour replacement tool and the mixer brush tool so they're basically just for drawing and stuff this is the clone stamp tool where you can click on something and then click it again and it'll clone it and then the pattern where you can just put some patterns on a picture or something I don't think a lot of people use that, it depends the history brush tool now I've never really used that feature so I don't know what it is but when I make a video in the future I'll tell you about that now you've got the simple rubber eraser tool, you've got the background eraser tool where you can take backgrounds out and magic eraser tool which is basically where you go around the outline like um, the one up here, quick selection and take it out and you can also change the size of the rubber by going up here but we'll get into that on another video so here we have a gradient tool and someone was asking me there was no paint bucket but if you actually click on it there's a paint bucket tool there now the gradient tool is making for like two colours on one background sort of thing. The paint bucket just does like one colours. Um, 
Here we have the blur tool where you can just blur bits of pictures and stuff. The sharpen tool where it sort of makes the image a lot sharper basically. And the smudge tool which you know what does, everyone's smudged in art before. Here we have the dodge tool. Now I don't know what the dodge is used for but I know it like messes up the picture a bit. So we'll look into that on another video. Because I'm going to go through all of these like actually showing you on pictures and stuff. Here we have the burn tool which is up like the dodge tool basically and then the sponge which sort of like mingles the picture up it's not something you don't use all the time I normally use like the quick selection and then the rubber and, and gradient stuff here is the pen tool the free form pen tool the add anchor paint tool the delete anchor paint tool and convert paint tool now these are obviously used to These are used to obviously as a pen to draw. Um, that one's just pen, so it does like lines. That's free form, so you can do whatever you want. That's add anchor. I don't know what the other ones are. Now we've got the text tool here, and you can have the horizontal type tool, which is the normal one. You can have the vertical, the horizontal type mass tool, vertical type mass tool. Now, do you remember this little thing up here, the marquee tool? The mass tool is basically it's got the line on the outside, so vertical is just where the words go right down. Here we have the mouse, which is the path selection tool and the direct selection tool. And then you've got some a rectangular tool, a rounded rectangular tool, a ellipse tool, a polygon tool, line tool, and custom shape tool. So you could just put some like shapes if you're making some. Uh, when I make outro videos, I sort of use them to know where I'm going to put the video in when I actually make it. You got the hand tool to like move stuff around and then the rotate view tool to rotate stuff. Now you have a magnifying glass so you can zoom in on pictures to work on the edit a bit more. Down here it just helps you with the screen if you want a full screen, a standard screen and that sort of stuff. Here you change the colour so if you click that you can change down here and stuff what colour you want. So that was uh, Photoshop episode 1 of all the tools. I hope this helped guys and I'll see you in my next video. Remember to like, subscribe and keep updated on my Facebook page for new videos. I'll see you next time.